What's going on YouTube? Sorry it's been a while since I've posted a video. I uh, had a lot of problems with the truck recently, so kind of put the four-wheel drive conversion uh, on hold. But today I was able to get the track bar in. So I'll show you kind of real quick. So track bar is in right there. Um, <clears throat> basically what I did is there was a hole here from the old uh, two-wheel drive um, I-beams. So I used that one and then just held the, the bracket up um, to it and then drilled the other two holes. Now I will say I don't really like how I did it. Um, I mean you can see it's sitting square like how it's supposed to. Um, and you can see the clearance here. I mean there's a little bit more than a finger width. A um, little less than a finger width. Probably should drop this down a little bit more. This bolt is fine. This bolt down here, though, I don't know if you can see it or not. I wish I would have moved it up a little bit higher. Because it's like right on this lip here. So that's something you might want to think about when you're doing your conversion. Um, is moving this up maybe another half inch. Um, maybe by just rotating it. Or just not using that hole. Um, but that's... That's what I did for it. Um, it's, I mean, it's pretty, it seems like it's pretty stout. Um, and then these are just half inch, um, I think they're grade five bolts or whatever. I think they're like two and a half, three inches long, something like that. You can see they stick out, you know, half inch or so um, on both sides. But I mean, it's, it's solid. It's, it's not going anywhere at all. So I'm going to take it for a test drive later and I'll let you know how it goes.